Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney and in today's video I'm going to be sharing you my top 10 makeup products that I would repurchase and since I would repurchase it I think it would also be great if you guys would actually think about giving these products a try for yourself. So I'm just going to get right into it. These products are in no particular order. I just went through my whole makeup stash and basically picked products that I knew I used a lot and if I were to run out I would be so sad and I would definitely have to repurchase it so it's something like that um there is also more products of course that I would consider repurchasing but of course we have to narrow it down we can't just have like 500 products we're going to repurchase um type of thing and also um since this is no particular because I didn't want to um, order categorize type the products if there is a video like products I wouldn't repurchase that you would like to see let me know and then I can film that video for you but other than that let's just get started first product that I would repurchase would be this pixie product and it looks like this so this is the pixie Beauty Bronzer in Summer Times. I use this as a highlight and I am wearing it today um, to highlight my face. I completely love this product. I didn't know what I was going to do when I got this product because it said a bronzer. And I was like, I, I, don't, I didn't know because when I got it, I had a bronzer already. I had some e.l.f. bronzers. I have the MAC Loose Pigment type of bronzer thing, which that is gold to the max. Um, so I didn't know how I was gonna like this and I actually really really like this you guys know I use it like in a lot of my makeup tutorials and pro I mention a lot it, I just use it a lot um this is what the product looks like inside as you can see I have hit pan it's just super super gorgeous so yes I would definitely consider repurchasing this um I, I did get this in an ipsy bag so I don't know how to go about repurchasing this like um i did look it up once i think it came in like a kit type of thing i hope they still have it on their website or i would have to look for it on other websites but yeah this pixie products product would have to be this mac studio fix press powder so this is a pressed foundation powder um duo type of thing and i'm in the color in this nw48 that color is way <laughs> it, it's basically too dark for me i'm gonna say like way too dark for me but it is a shade too dark for me i think i would have to go to like a color less than that what is it like nw45 or something because this color i can basically like lightly contour with it and for a powdered foundation i that's just way too dark i'm not trying to get light it's not like i'm you know like lighter than i need to get like a glowy tan look i want something that is actually my color so i would definitely repurchase this in a color that is me as of right now because when i did repur when i did purchase this i was in the sun more and stuff like that and i also think it was also a tad bit too dark then but it wasn't i wasn't light enough to be the color below this you know what i'm saying so i guess she matched me um to the closest um so yes this is what it looks like inside so it comes with a mirror and this is what the powder looks like it see it looks lighter on camera but when i put it on it's actually it's darker so yes and of course under here it comes with that um powder proof thing that i i don't use so i would definitely repurchase this this is actually a new product that i recently tested out and i'm in love with this liner you guys okay so this is the black radiance professional eyeliner pencil um it looks like this i showed this pencil in my black radiance um unboxing video because you guys know that was my first time purchasing any black radiance products testing out <coughs> the testing out video um should be up either before this or after this i'm not really sure but this is the pencil i love this pencil i am wearing it today it is super super black it glides on you don't have to put any pressure 
and it sharpens well you guys it really does sharpen well it does not break so I would definitely repurchase this and also look at other stuff on their website I've seen a lot of other stuff that I would definitely want to try out on their website I did have some fails um in that video so if you do want to see makeup products I would not repurchase like I said, let me know and I will film that video for you. It's a lip product and the lip product is by NYX and it's this. And this is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Um, This is like the lip product that basically says not lipstick. Um, It's not lip gloss. It's nothing I've ever experienced before. You like, So it's one of those products, you know, like, <laughs> well, what is it <laughs> um, type of thing. But I love these ones. The pigmentation are amazing and they last long um they kind of stain so that's probably why they last so long but i love these so much i have um a couple of these in different colors this one is in Addis ababa i like the way this one looks on me it has kind of like a blue glittery flex um to it which is actually really really pretty so yes if you haven't tested out these give them a try um the colors can be um the ones on the lighter side can be more of a hit and miss if you have pigmentation to your lips already um so kind of look into those ones but the darker ones i love um another lip product would have to be this vaseline lip therapy thing this is just in the original one I love using this when um, mostly at night when I do my like skincare routine and then I exfoliate my lips and then I like to put this on because I this heals any lip problems so usually after you exfoliate your lips are super super dry of course because you just scrub them like them to literally death and we wear a lot of lipstick throughout the day so you have to do it i mean at least use a product that you know is going to be moisturizing so that's why i would go for this in the morning when i do it since like i said do it at night so in the morning if i need to do it i will just use an, you know, an eos bomb and that will you know help moisturize to give me the moisture back so when i take that off and put on my lip product you know it won't be dry so yes i like this one i think they also have this one in like a coconut one and i think they have it like in a fruity one i'm not really sure but the original one you know is always the best to just go with product which just looks so sad it's probably gonna have to be repurchased like really really soon <sighs> okay you guys ready um it's this <laughs> yes this this is the elf eyebrow lift and fill so this the brown side is of course the fill and then this ivory side is of course the lift i love this this is what i do my eyebrows with um if i'm not using just a regular um brown type of pencil i use this this is so easy um if you have the eyebrow the elf eyebrow kit it's basically the same thing um when it comes to the brown um side which is basically like a waxy pencil um i did notice about the the kit though the brown is more darker so if you want those dark brows or if you want to use this and then go and define it with the dark i mean you can do that i have both of them i switch off between my looks so if i'm going for more of of a i guess a darker look you know my eyebrows be lighter and stuff you know like i play it off like that <laughs> yeah so I would definitely um, give this a try if you guys haven't. This has lasted me a while, to believe it or not. But it did come with caps. And of course, I lost the caps. So yeah, I'm going to have to probably purchase another one. Next is a mascara. And it, it has to be this one. You guys, I mentioned this one in like every video that I talk about makeup for like a whole bunch of videos before this. <laughs> um, this is the Ramel London Valium flash scandal eyes mascara you would have thought how many times i mentioned and read this name that i would know it by now and it's just way too long for me to remember i really just remember scandal eyes mascara um and then this is in the color black extreme black i love this mascara um when it comes to ramel i used to be a huge ramel london fan like huge um and then it started to like i don't know if they changed their formula 
or I was just getting the wrong mascara or products in general. I just wasn't feeling it. And now I've been using Ramel products that I actually been loving. So that is amazing. Um, this is what the brush looks like if you're into knowing what brushes look like. So it's it's kind of big. Um, but of course that helps with the volume. If you want more length and definition, you would get a skinnier brush. But I like it. Um, it does clump somewhat like right there near the tip part. But you can just wipe that off. Other than that, it's super fine. You only need like one or two coats. Um, it is, I did get an extremely black. So yes, is another e.l.f. product. OMG, if you need a concealer palette, it, like if, let's say you do, um, of course your own makeup or you need it for like your makeup kit, um, freelance or professional, I would highly, highly, highly suggest this. So this is the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer. Um, I don't know why they just say concealer, like it's just one. There's like four in here. So yeah, yeah, there's four. And this is in the dark tones. They're also a light tone if you are of a lighter complexion. I am, of course, darker. Um, so I got these dark tones. You can see which ones I really like, and I haven't even touched that one. Um, so yes, I love this and they do give you a lot of product it's really creamy it's easy to blend um you can put powder over it you won't see streak lines i completely love this i don't feel like this gets a lot of love as it should um a lot of people talk about other concealers which seem to be on more on the pricier side and why not just get this i mean you can mix and match tones so like if you're not this brown you can mix and match it and make your own brown or if you need something on the lighter or you're in between the dark and the um, light palette you can get both of them and mix them like you can do just so much I would highly suggest this for a kit you need this for your makeup kit if you're a freelance or professional get this next part is another elf product um, and it's the uh, um, a palette like this so it's an eyeshadow palette and this is in elf everyday smoky you guys I've been using this palette more than I've been using my urban decay naked palette the first one um, and it looks like this. I've probably been using it more because I'm in love with this matte brown and this black. Between this matte brown, this black, and um, these, can you guys even see that? This color, this color, and this color. You guys, <laughs> why? If this would have came out when the e.l.f., when the e.l.f., when the Urban Decay Naked Palette came out, I would have got this one first. I, if you don't have the first Urban Decay Naked Palette or you don't have any Naked Palettes at all, you guys need to get this. This is amazing. I mean, and then it comes with a black, you guys. It comes with like basically all the same colors, but to me, this one is more on the less shimmery side. I noticed that in my Urban Decay Naked Palette, it's more on that shimmery, shimmery. And you don't need that much shimmer. I know in the crease, I personally don't want to use shimmer in my crease. I like the more matte look in my crease. So I... I've been loving this. I'm wearing this palette um, today um, on my eyes. Of course, on the um, lid part, I'm actually not wearing a CoverGirl um, little quad thingy, you know, because I wanted to use one of the colors from there. But other than that, you guys need to get this. I'm telling you, get it. Last but not least is an eyeliner. And this is the type of eyeliner I like to use if I don't want to put any um eyeshadow on i just want to wear like a liner and a mascara and be out that door or if i wanted to go with even like i look like this that's more on the smokier like neutral side i would wear this eyeliner you guys <laughs> i love this eyeliner i did a review did i post this yes i did do a review on this on my blog and this is the nika k new york oh almost dropped it um shimmer eyeliner and it's in the color blue. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. This is exactly what the color looks like. Um, when you take it out, it of course, maybe I should do this with the other hand. It of course looks like this. I'm trying to get as close as possible. So it's like super, super glittery. It looks better on so like if I were to have swatched it, I'll have that blog post linked down below so you guys can really see. 
Um, to mention this, I did find an Amazon seller. It's actually, I think it is the Nika K um, Amazon page because I did not see this on their website, but on the Amazon page, I did find it. They also have more colors. So they have like gold and purple and green. So yeah, guys, test this out. That is the 10 products that I would repurchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have tested any products that I have shown or heard of any of them or have any questions type of thing leave it down in the comment section below and i will write you back if there are products that you think i would absolutely love that you would actually repurchase also let me know if you're not a subscriber make sure to hit that subscribe button become one of my friends and we can chit chat and stuff like that so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you next time bye guys